up earlier today, we have a cord synthesizer, which is very cool. I don't have the patch cables or nothing, but... Very cool unit. But, he doesn't really have a problem. I mean, he has a problem, but it's... It's not like you have to go in here and figure out if you got a bad chip or something. His uh, pitch bend is not working. And that is the complaint, so we'll go in and see what's going on. Okay, here we are picking up with this cord again. And um, what it's doing is everything's working except the uh, pitch bend. And what that does on this unit is it gives you one of the output uh, jacks makes available to another part of the unit uh, a plus and minus 5 volts or thereabouts and it's not getting there or it wasn't getting there and it's one of those situations where the unit just started working um, upon looking at the schematic you can see that the voltage source for the pitch bin is also the same voltage source for the chips and everything else in the unit so if everything else is working, there's a good chance that something's going on between the pot and the power supply, like uh, intermittent wire or trace or something like that. Because if you got your voltage elsewhere, that would eliminate the supply. That just tells you that it would be a simple repair something's going on but I haven't seen this place yet it just started working so I'm gonna have to go in and find where the intermittent problem is but in the meantime I thought I would finish up with this and show you ex how you would tell if it's working properly uh, before you put the unit back together and just use it to drive your trim I mean your your um, vibrato or pitch bin. And um, so what I'm doing here is you're looking at the voltmeter and I'm coming right at the output jack of the unit where the it's the pitch bend out and it's going to this voltmeter. I just have alligator clamps, these things. I just have these hooked up to the um, to the probes on the voltmeter and so you can look at the voltmeter as I go one way with the pitch bin of course it helps by turning it on okay okay as you look at the voltmeter you can see it's starting to swing that's about center on this um, unit here on this pitch pin. It's about what 0 0.08 volts. So that that's pretty close to zero. I'm sure this thing's drifted a little over the years, but 0 0.08 is not bad. And um, so as we swing to one side of the pot, there's your six volts DC and we go to the other side of the pot you can see it swing to the negative rail which is negative six volts and then we go to center on the pitch bin you're back at zero volts you actually have your voltages on each side of this pot and um, and then the center is going to be your variable that you get out and that tells me that this unit is working right now. We, we can uh, proceed to hook it up and listen to it. I'm continuing with this uh, cord synthesizer to verify that we have the pitch bin working. Um, I'm doing pitch bend out to frequency uh, octave volt in plus and minus five volts that's what we should have on this swing we just went through that with the pot showing you on the pot and uh, 
Here's your signal out, control your volume. Well, that's about it. Um, what to do now is clean it up for the customer and trade it